Good afternoon, tubers of the RC Universe. Welcome to RC Helicheck UK to a very battered Rob, as you may see from my face. Had a little incident up here this morning. Ambulance was called and all that crap. Anyway, enough about me. We are going to be looking at a proper flight video of the Pineapple Express, as I lovingly call her. As you can see, the wind is very, 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 very light which makes a change, because normally I suffer with wind quite bad up here, as you know. But I have one of my fellow colleagues here with his camera. He's going to video me flying this. I shall leave the GoPro on, um, and I will basically use that as a pip to add to the actual video on top, so I can talk to you while I'm doing the actual flying session. Anyway, let's get... On with it let's get this thing in the air she's flying awesome at the moment and with this low wind being the way that it is absolutely flies stunning which you are about to see so let's go let's get this plane in the air guys Now we've got calmer wind. One of the things I have noticed with this model is the front undercarriage spring is very, very soft. So if you don't grease the landing, it will actually pour points across the deck. It will be like pretty much um, bouncing off the nose. Once it starts, there's no stopping it. Anyway, here we go. Full chat. Gear up. Just over half throttle climb. As you can see, it's nice and steady. There's no vices to this model at all. I mean, it's like, if you can fly a trainer plane, you could probably fly the Tiger Cat because it has got trainer tendencies. The aileron rate that I've got, as what you've just seen, is enough for me. Um, I'm not an aggressive flyer. I try and fly as scale as possible. But as you can see, it's a shame that the sun's not out because it would really make the colour of the yellow stand out really well. But even as it is now, I can still see it clear as day. Um, it's a cracking aeroplane. It really is. I'm restricting my flying times at the moment purely and simply because I'm still getting used to the, uh, the throttle calibration and getting used to sort of like whereabouts to have the throttle. Um, if you fly it flat out, I notice that it tends to use up a lot of power. Uh, and it's not something I'd really want to be worrying about, like is a lack of power uh, because my battery runs out. But she's an awesome model to fly, really is. I mean, it's so sedate. I mean, I'm what, just just over three quarter throttle. Uh, sorry, just over half throttle again. And it's really nice and sedate. There is an issue with the undercarriage on these models. And apparently it's quite a common one. One of the oleo struts tends to move across the bar that it's mounted to. And it causes the retract to not be able to go up. Um, it's quite an easy fix. There's a block that the bar sits in with two screws. If you undo those, you can actually pull the retract out and just get a pair of pliers and pull it back out again. I believe there is a fix for it where you can stop it from happening. Um, that's something I need to look into because obviously I don't want to keep having retract issues. Talking of retracts, we'll drop them down now. Bring her by, make sure we've got all three down. And then we'll bring her in for a landing. Yeah, I can see there. All three wheels are down. That's a no flap. Um, slow approach there, at just over half throttle. The wind is up and down the strip, so I'm going to be coming in from the left hand side. 
what I tend to do is wait until I get past the trees, which I will show you in a second as I go over the top of them. Just turn in now these trees here that you can see. I drop down single flap, th reduce the throttle because it makes it balloon a little bit, and then full flap, and then we are just driving her in, literally. There we go, absolutely perfect. I love this plane so much. There we go, a proper kite flight without the wind. And as you can see, she flies really awesome. Absolutely awesome. And there you have it guys, absolutely perfect. There we have it guys, one flight of the Tiger Cat Pineapple Express in calm conditions and god does she fly nice. Um, I'd like to thank Mike who videoed the flying footage for me. Um, the aircraft is awesome to fly, it really is awesome to fly. Um, she's got loads of power, she looks awesome in the sky with the colour scheme that I've done as well. Um, and yeah. If anybody's going to go for a Tiger Cat, I think the FMS one's the one to go for. The Freewing Tiger Cat, don't get me wrong, or well, the Flightline Tiger Cat, I should say. It's a nice plane, it flies just as nice, but it's a little bit smaller. This is bigger, it's heavier, it penetrates through the air a lot better. And she sounds awesome on this race pack, as I call it, with these twin beaver props. So there you go, guys. That's the Tiger Cat. That's how she flies. And thanks for watching. I appreciate you uh, all supporting me and following me the way that you do. Um, click the old like and subscribe button the usual malarkey and hopefully next time you see me I won't have all the scars on my face but thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time